In this walkthrough, you will learn how to manage your Power Automate flows. We will cover how to edit and test updates, how to turn flows off and on, and how to share your flow with others. For this example, I have a flow here called Copy Selected File to Mark 8 Project. We're going to go ahead and open this up, and we're going to be looking now at the detail screen. From here, I can review the name, description, who the owner of the flow is. I can find out its status, when it was created, the type of flow, if it's an automated, instant, or scheduled flow. I can also review the types of connections it has and what permissions are being used for those connections. From here, I can also edit the flow if I need to make any updates. I can share the flow with others. Now, sharing the flow is providing it another owner. Owners will have rights to edit these flows, change the connections, and be able to add additional owners to it. I can delete the flow if I want to, send a copy. So this will send a copy of it to a person or another somebody else in the organization they will receive a copy, they will be able to edit it to their needs, but you will no longer have ownership rights. They will be the owner of the flow. We can go ahead and submit it as a template to Microsoft. I can export the flow as a zip file if I need to move it between tenants. I can view analytics for, you know, uh, on such things as how the flow has been running and how long it's been taking. I can also turn off the flow. Flows that are turned off are disabled from running. And to, to have the flow be able to run again, I'll just simply turn it back on. You can always see the status of the flow if it's on or off here on status. Now, one of the other things that this will do is gives us a run history. And we'll notice that we'll see that I have a, a run that has failed. To find out more details of what this failure is, let's go ahead and select it. And we can see that the, we can find the, see the trigger and all the actions the flow has taken. The create file step has failed. And over here under error details, the, the file that was copied had was already existing on the SharePoint site. We can also see that by selecting the action that's failed. And by scrolling down, we can get a lot more information if we require it. In this case, we know that the file already existed. So to fix this problem, let's go ahead and edit from here. To resolve this problem, I'm going to have the file name include the date and time, an underscore, and then the name of the file. That way, each file is unique. I'll go ahead and save it. Now that it's saved, I can now test it. Testing a flow, I'm going to select automatic and with a recently used trigger. Now these are all the previous flow runs that have happened and I can choose the one that's failed. This will, act, this will use the same file that was used when it failed, which is a duplicate file. So I'm going to go ahead and test this. And we can see that the flow running in real time. Each step was successful. To test this, we'll go out to the SharePoint site and we can see that the file has now the date and, tamp date and time stamp on it. So we have learned how to manage Power Automate flows. You now know how to edit and test your updates how to turn flows off and on, and the various different ways that you can share your flow with others.